Hi, my name is Brandon and I'm an alcoholic and addict in recovery. And today I started a new book, A New Pair of Glasses by Chuck C. And Chuck C is a, uh, was a Alcoholics Anonymous member who <clears throat> lived from 1902 to 1984. And his real name was Charles Chamberlain. And he was one of the most well-known speakers in AA, a very highly regarded member of the program, who went from being a self-described tongue-chewing, babbling, idiot drunk, um, to what some people describe as one of the most charismatic and caring men in the world. And this book is a collection of talks that he gave at a retreat in, uh, let me see, Paula Mesa, um, back in 1975. And the theme of this series of talks was in all of our affairs. So he was talking about the principle from AA of practicing these spiritual principles in everything that we do. Whether you're in AA or not, this is an important aspect of spiritual life. Once you figure out what your spiritual foundation looks like and what kind of virtues are important to you in life, then choosing to practice those things in every aspect of your life and not just when it's convenient becomes a really important part of your spiritual day-to-day -day existence. So I'm going to read this book for a little bit and just pick and choose some different things, a little bit different format than some of the books I've been reading recently. One of the things that stood out to me today, because it was a topic that came up at a meeting I was in last night, was the topic of worthiness. And uh, Chuck describes here a situation where he didn't feel worthy. I'm going to read a little bit from the book. Um, he says, hold on, I was on the wrong page. Um, now, there was one thing that I didn't think I could do, and that was step three. And it wasn't because I didn't want to. And just uh, for those who might not know, step three in the book Alcoholics Anonymous is made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood him. And so he says, I had no objection to step three. I would have turned my will and my life over to a jackass if I could have gotten rid of me. But where it says we made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood him, I didn't think this was possible for anyone like me because I didn't think it was cricket to believe that I could give the mess that was me to anybody, let alone to God. I wouldn't have taken me with a large dowry, and I didn't figure God liked me any better than I did. And I hated my guts, so I let it lay. I just let it lay. I picked up the last third of the step of step 12 and practiced these principles in all my affairs. So he's talking about not feeling worthy of, uh, in this case, God's love. Um, and in not in some ways not feeling worthy of getting better of being happy a lot of us feel that way a lot of us feel that there are either things that are wrong with us or things we've done in the past wrongs that we've committed in the past that are, that make us unworthy of love from other people from god from ourselves and what we miss out on, it, there's, there's two things that I would point out here. Um, the past is, is unchangeable. And I know this is something that it's almost cliche, but you literally cannot do anything about the past. And so worrying about the past, dwelling on the past, and thinking too much about the past, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, in the AA program, we spend some time, especially in step four, unpacking our past and going through and really trying to understand it from all different sides. We do that in an effort to be able to then let go of it. 
And it's always going to be part of our stories, but if we can let go of it and not think about it all the time and not have it weigh us down, that makes us free to do the things that worthiness is actually about. Worthiness is not about what you've done in the past. Worthiness is about what you're doing now. Worthiness and being worthy of anything is more about your present action than it is anything you've ever done in the past. Most of us, when we get down into it, have done some rotten things in the past. And there are all sorts of different ways that we can deal with those things. We may have people we need to apologize to. We may have some other kinds of amends we need to make. But worthiness of happiness, of God's love, uh, however you want to put it, boils down to the actions you are taking right now. What are you doing right now? I am of the firm belief that all of us deserve peace and happiness. And one of the reasons I think that's very important is that to truly get to a place of peace and happiness, you have to want to do good in your heart. You have to be actively working to make the world a better place. And if everybody in the world could get to a point where they were doing that, then the world would be a better place. And so I think that's an admirable goal. And that's why I think everybody is worthy of it, because I believe all of humanity is worthy of what would happen if we could all just put hearts full of love into what we do on a regular basis. So worthiness is something that I, I think a lot of us struggle with because um, many of us may have been raised being told we weren't worth much. Many of us may have been raised being, um, being taught this through actions of other people. And, uh, or many of us may have done things that make us feel unworthy. And we can, uh, we can go through some steps spiritually, either through a program like AA, a program like Smart Recovery or Refuge Recovery, or with a you know, spiritual advisor, someone from a church or a synagogue or, or any, any religious figure. We can, we can go through spiritual work to look at our past and to really reconcile ourselves with what's happened in the past so that we can move forward in a future where we're taking action that, that helps to bolster our worth in the world and helps us feel like we are worth the joy that we truly are worth obtaining in life. So that's it for today. I'm going to keep reading. Again, this is a new pair of glasses by Chuck C. Um, really great book, and I will keep reading it uh, over the next couple of weeks. In the meantime, I hope you have a great day, and I'll be back here tomorrow with more.